Hi everyone, John Mitchell here, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So this week coming up on February 12th, Monday, February 12th at Fort Tabor, uh, we will have uh, an important public meeting, an interesting public meeting, and it'll be on something you may have heard a little bit about, and that is the designs for, the preliminary designs for the Global War on Terror monument. So we decided uh, that it would be fitting and appropriate for New Bedford to have a monument uh, dedicated to uh, those who served in post 9-11 conflicts. It's not a 9-11 monument or memorial per se, it's more about those who served in the conflicts thereafter. And so the, we set up a, a committee that is comprised of uh, veterans and of architects, as well as some city officials, to come, first of all, to figure out where it should go, and then secondly, to figure out who should design it. And so it is going to be located at just south of the boat ramp on just south of West Beach, um, right off of West Rodney French Boulevard. That's the location, right? Right on the water. And uh, secondly, the design committee, and that, that was after a review of a number of places around the city. They thought that was the best location and it made sense to me. Uh, secondly, they uh, took applications from a number of designers and they landed on a designer called Martha Schwartz Associates, uh, which is a world-renowned uh, public art designer. They do lots of memorials and, and other public parks and such. Uh, and they've, they've done some really uh, fascinating ones uh, around the world in Europe, as well as in the Far East, and of course, many in the United States. Most recently, they did one uh, that got some notoriety in New England. Uh, it was a monument to a memorial for uh, Martin Luther King uh, in Boston, uh, and that's, that's gotten some, some really good reviews. So they're really good at what they do, and they've come up with a couple of concepts, working closely with the uh, the design committee, and they're going to show them to the public. And what we want is we want people to offer input on those designs. We want to, to get uh, the, the best ideas to come forward. They're, they are preliminary designs, so they're not totally done, but the architects will explain the direction they're, coming, uh, they're going in. So, you know, I, I would just encourage everyone, especially uh, those who've served in the military, to come on out and take a look at this. What we're trying to do is honor those who volunteered, right? We have an all volunteer f force in the United States. And this is a uh, really, uh, to my mind, a, an opportunity to honor them and also to draw folks into um, to the notion of their service. That By that I mean, this is in the last 20 years, uh, the conflicts, the post 9-11 conflicts have been experienced in different ways across America. Those who've had loved ones who've served or those who've served have felt it more um, uh, directly than lots of others. And it's important for, um, for public art concerning those conflicts to try to draw the civilian and military worlds uh, together, I, I believe, so that we have a common understanding of the nature of the sacrifice and the commitment and the devotion of those who served, um, discharged. So uh, anyway, I, take a look yeah, for yourselves. Uh, we certainly would want to get people's opinion. So we have a first rate um, monument. Uh, just a couple of other quick things. So uh, New Bedford got uh, a good two plus million dollar uh, grant from the federal government to work on homelessness services. So that's uh, something we're very appreciative. We thank our federal delegation for supporting the appropriation of those funds. Um, secondly, uh, early voting will start uh, February 28th. We've got the Massachusetts primary coming up on March 5th, the presidential primary, so we want to make sure that uh, the word is out, that uh, the election is coming, coming up real fast, so please uh, take a look at that. If you can't make it on the 5th, then maybe you can make it on a day earlier. There will be opportunities for that. All the information is on the city's website. The last thing is, um, it's Valentine's Day. If you're like me and you wait till the last minute, uh, well, you might be frozen out of a restaurant recommendation or you might be rifling through uh, cards, uh, the, uh, the card section of CVS looking for something that works 
Uh, don't be like me. Get out earlier. That's what I can commend to you. I, but I hope everybody has a really enjoyable Valentine's Day in the city. This has been the Mayor's Weekly Update. I will see you next week.